Christmas is all about? Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be doing this. I am attempting vlogmas. I feel like, I, have I attempted it every year? No, I did not attempt it last year. I was sure I was not doing vlogmas last year. I think I attempted it the year before. It's never really been super successful, but this time I'm feeling somewhat confident because I have so much to share with you guys. I was like, okay, why don't we just do Vlogmas? So, for those of you who um, are here for the first time, it's your first time finding my channel, welcome. You picked a good time to uh, join us over here. My name is Gaby, I also go by Gabriel, and here on the channel we are Miss GCH, and yeah, welcome to Vlogmas. So today's video is actually a video that has been recorded for a while. It's one of those that um, has been just waiting to be edited and I'm finally getting around to doing it for Vlogmas. I figured this would be an uh, okay way, hopefully a good way to kick off Vlogmas. And it is all about me designing my prayer wall. So I told you guys back when I did the empty apartment tour that I had a plan for um, one of the walls in my walk-in closet in my bedroom and I wanted to bring my prayer wall back. Literally since undergrad at IU, I've had a prayer wall since that movie came out war room by priscilla shire if you haven't well it's not by her i don't know who it's actually by but she she plays like the main character in that movie and honestly seeing that movie changed everything for me in my perspective of my prayer life um i even watch it every once in a while just to get a, a restart a new kick on, on my prayer journey and I hope this really inspires many of you to do the same thing. There's something so powerful, so life-changing about writing your prayers down. I know it feels kind of weird, especially if you're not a journaler. I very much have always been like the journal type. So it fits right in like with my personality and how I already express myself. But something about writing your prayers, being able to see the things that you prayed for, and even writing down the date. Um, and something that I did in the past was I also wrote down the date and then when the prayer was answered, I would write uh, answered and write the date that it was answered and, and keep those. I had a jar for a while. I might bring that back eventually. There's just, like I said, something so powerful about seeing those prayers, praying over those same things very intentionally. It truly adds intentionality to your prayer life. So I highly recommend this for anyone if you've been looking just for some ideas. I didn't see a lot of videos like these actually on YouTube. So hopefully um, this really gives you all ideas and inspires some of you about how you can really turn a wall in your space, no matter how big your apartment is. You don't have to have a walk-in closet like what I'm about to show you or anything fancy. Um, everything I got was um, from like Dollar Store or um, Five Below. I did use my Cricut for the first time, so you will see that, but that was gifted to me last year for Christmas, so I'm sure there's some super simple alternatives to what I did. Actually, there are, because I've done them in the past. Um, some alternatives to um, using the Cricut how I did. I also used um, stick on wallpaper um this time so that's another thing that's totally not necessary i haven't used it in the past um but yeah i just wanted to kind of upscale it and make it something nice that fits my aesthetic um that you'll see in the rest of my apartment um and just make it me so i recorded um the journey of creating this and like i said i hope this gives you some ideas and i hope you enjoy so if you're interested in seeing how it turned out stay tuned so the first place I started was with the stick on wallpaper. Please do not be fooled by how fast this is going. This literally took me so much time. I don't know if my wall was crooked or what, but I had to stick it on, reset it, pull it up. It was a lot, honestly. Um, and I only bought one roll from Target of this wallpaper. Do not recommend. Um, you definitely need more than one to fill space and they don't match up. So I pretty much had to finesse the mess out of this. The next thing I did was hang this cork board that I've had literally, I think also since undergrad or <laughs> at least since uh, probably my first year of grad school. I've had it for a while and I just hung it with command strip. I used the Velcro ones, uh, one in each corner and it hung honestly so easily. So now we're getting into the real decor. I created that on Canva. If you all need a tutorial for something like that, I'm happy to do it. And then I'm just showing you all a couple of items that I picked up for super cheap at Five Below. Um, that'll be a journal that I write in, got some LED lights, you saw um, a full floral that I started with, got this pillow, I also got that plant but I didn't end up using it. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting to put the batteries in and get everything set and ready to go up on the wall.
So the plant was entirely hung with um, scotch tape, like literally some invisible tape. You see me like lifting up some of the leaves and just putting a strip of tape over um, kind of like the vine that connects it all. And then I just wove these in between and um, stuck the battery pack up under a leaf so that I can easily turn them on and off. Now we're getting into the fun stuff. So this is actually the first time I was using my Cricut Explore Air 2. It was gifted to me last Christmas. Yes, I know that is trifling, but the past year of my life has been hectic. Um, I barely had a place for this to fit in my old apartment in Virginia. So I'm so excited to use it. I'm opening up all of the um, little instructions and uh, things that come with it. Super easy setup. These were literally step cards that told you each step um, to set up. So the first thing I started with was creating an account on the um, Cricut design space and then you'll see me getting ready to create a new design. So once you have your new design file open, I just went over and clicked text and typed in what I wanted. And there are system fonts um, that are on my computer. There are ones that are free in the Cricut space and ones you can pay for. So I was just scanning around for the type of uh, font that I wanted. And I had already pre-measured the space um, for the titles that I wanted to add to my prayer wall. So um, I it pretty much clearly shows you um, the dimensions, you can type them in if you want, and then um, I just copy and pasted a bunch of times to create the uh, remaining titles that I wanted for my prayer wall. So I pretty much just followed that step um, over and over again until I had all the titles that I wanted. So lessons from using the Cricut for the first time, I will have <laughs> quite a few of these throughout the video, but um, I was trying to organize them to make sure they fit the 10 by 10 um, card that they would be printed on. However, you don't need to do that. There's actually another step when you hit that you're ready to print um, that will allow you to uh, kind of organize them to make sure they fit on your cutting board. So, you know, it was kind of a waste of time. You'll see on the next screen um, that I will here it is, yeah. And I pretty much just reorganized them. Um, and it really makes it so easy for you to see where it's gonna print on your board um, and the size of your board and everything. You can mess around and make sure it fits. So once you have it all perfect and ready to go, um, you click continue and it literally spells out for you what to do. So it was telling me to plug up the USB. The USB has to be connected in the back of the system and connected to your device. So that's why I have it set up like I do. And that was my bag of all the goodies that come with the Explore Air 2 um, kit. So yeah, all of this paper, all the materials you see me using all came with my Cricut. I didn't have to buy them separately. So that was pretty so here it's having me do all the settings and because I'm using um, premium, what is it, premium vinyl, I actually have to go on the system and um, turn the knob to vinyl so that it knows the depth of the material I'm using. And I just love the way it opens, it's so cool. <laughs> but now I'm going to go ahead and prep the um, vinyl for printing. This part is really tricky. This is where um, I really, I start to have some boo-boos. Um, I had to stick that down a few times. I definitely used the bubble remover tool that comes with it. Um, but I would honestly not use my video currently as a tutorial. <laughs> I would look one up on YouTube. There are women who are geniuses at this. I had one up to help me figure out what I was doing. So yeah, don't use this as a tutorial. <laughs> but I loaded the paper um, and pressed the first button that was blinking. And and then um, it has you press the Cricut button once it's ready and set to print and you see off it goes. Now my second warning and my oopsie that happened was um, this cutting board needs space to go out the back which is kind of like duh. But I had my Cricut up against the wall um, of my bookcase and so halfway through it actually knocked out the power cord and I had to start over. So. Um, yeah, don't be like me. Learn from me, pull the cricket out from the wall so you have some space. 
Now I'm adding the transfer tape on top. That one went a little bit smoother, but again, you're about to see me fumble a little bit. I'm using the bubble remover to smooth it out on top of the board so that um, it easily transfers like a sticker. Um, it gets interesting when I go to peel the back off. So first of all, obviously fail, like literally fail. What am I doing, you guys? I don't know. All of the cricket women of the world are probably watching this and cringing, crying, wanting to come through the screen on me. I know. I know. I watched the tutorial several times and still messed this up. But anyways, um, I tried to recover and actually I did recover. I stuck it back down, um, used the bubble remover, and then fail number 5,000. I tried to peel it all off in one foul swoop. Um, Remember, these are multiple titles, multiple different, you know, sections, all on one sheet of paper. And so I get wise in about 30 seconds based on how fast this video is going. And I realize I need to cut the titles individually so that you're not trying to pull transfer tape across, you know, a 10 by 10 piece of paper. It's just, it's not realistic, especially when you have thin titles like what I have with these small letters. I literally was about to cut up like literally tear up but I figured it out and you see I started cutting out the titles individually and I was somehow magically able to save them I really don't know how because I had done some serious damage <laughs> but somehow I figured it out and I save it I was literally sweating throughout this this took so much effort the women on YouTube who do this and Instagram who do this make it seem so much easier than it actually is you're gonna need a whole lot of patience when you're doing this for the first time before you get real good you just need some patience okay but i was determined to get these beautiful titles on my prayer wall and so <laughs> i stuck at it and as you see here it really takes some time to peel them off slowly Once you got them all off, then um, with the sticky side up, I stuck them down to the cutting board. The cutting board does have a stick to it, if you didn't already know that, so it is very useful. And then I'm using the weeding tool to pull out all of those um, like pieces that are stuck in between the middle of letters, um, just to clean the titles up and get them ready for transfer. Finally, by some miracle, you guys, these titles were ready to go and be transferred onto the wall. So I literally stuck them on like a sticker um, and I didn't really, you know, measure where I wanted them. I just knew I wanted different titles all around the wall, um, just as the themes of things that I knew I would have first for um, to keep me centered on what I'm praying about and who I am praying for. So. Um, you see the world is over there. We've got God's church here. And what I do is stick it down. Um, and then I use the um, bubble removing, I don't know what the official name is, but that um, scraping tool just to make sure that it is on there really good. So I'm pressing hard to make sure the sticker is on there. And then when it's time, you just peel the transfer tape off. You'll notice me here just putting a few of my initial prayers up on the wall just to kind of measure out how much space I'll need for each category. And then I remove that transfer tape off the top and voila. You still want to go slow on this part just to make sure, you know, the letters are really stuck to the wall. But yeah, it worked out really nicely and I loved how they turned out. Although it was a blast to use the Cricut, this was probably my favorite part. Um, I printed these out using um, Canva and some cardstock that I had laying around the house. And on that cork board that I hung on the wall using command strips, I'm going to do my I am who you say I am board. And what that is is I essentially went through the word, um, my own scripture and notes um, in my Bible, and um, really just pulling out who God says that I am. I knew that I needed that reminder in the season of my life more than anything and so you'll see at the top of each I put a title so for example I am not alone and then I put a verse related to that on that card and then you'll see how I use them on the cork board very soon and even though this was in preparation for the board um, this was such sweet time in God's Word honestly it was such a reminder I called my parents and had them um, share some verses with me to add to the wall so it was honestly really special
Then I went back over to my Cricut and created this title here. I am who you say I am using the same black vinyl. Um, the cork was a little bit harder to um, stick <laughs> to so I did have to press quite a bit and really take my time uh, peeling this off but I love and I mean literally love how this came out. I love it. And then I went to town with my first round of prayers. I used black post-it notes with white gel pen and I ordered them from Amazon. the final reveal of my prayer wall. I could not be happier with how it turned out. Honestly, it is so perfect. I love the lights. Um, you'll see at the end, um, it's pretty perfect because sometimes in the morning, you know, turning that light on is a little bit much, but that light is just enough light for me to see um, and write and do my prayers. I really, really, really loved how this I Am Who You Say I Am board came out. There are so many verses that will constantly remind me of the things that I need to hear. Um, knowing who we are in Christ is one of the most powerful tools that we have to fight the lies of the enemy. Um, and that's definitely been something I've been dealing with quite a bit these last few years and definitely in this season. Um, so I just love how I'm really setting myself up to be able to combat this and to stay focused in prayer. Um, my basket here is filled with just some things that I always use some push pins washi tape uh, the invisible tape in case I want to tape anything to the wall um, those gel pens that I told you guys about and um, the uh, black post-it notes like I said all of that was super cheap from Amazon and then I have some extra card stock in here for you know if I decide to use that to write a prayer down if I need more space that's my old prayer journal I've got old prayers old um, things from my old prayer walls um, and all of it fits perfectly in that basket for now um, I may end up replacing it at some point but it is perfect to just have it all right there in my closet um, I keep my Bible down there as well um, and then uh, that journal that I bought for prayers, it is actually a sketchbook, but I love having that much space to write my prayers down. I hope to start to do that. But yeah, this is the final reveal. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it inspired you and gave you some good ideas. If you are loving what you see, I hope you'll stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.